about the Green Street Bridge project in East Spokane. It's about a million dollars over budget. Today, the city's engineering department asked the council for a hundred thousand additional dollars to complete a street extension project on the WSU campus in Spokane. That makes that project two hundred and fifty thousand dollars budget over budget as well. Crimpton's Mike Gonzalez spent the evening in City Hall investigating where the money is going to come from to pay for this. Hey Randy, that money will come from what they call the street arterial fund. Basically that money is used to fix streets across the Spokane area. We're on the WSU campus like you mentioned and one of the biggest issues, the reason they went over budget on this particular project is because take a look at these rocks. They're extremely difficult to excavate and what they told me is they've also had to work around several projects on the campus. City Councilwoman Amber Waldruff gets fired up when she talks about the Green Street Bridge. It was completely funded with 800,000 federal dollars and due for completion in November. But now the city will foot the bill for almost a million to complete it and it won't be finished for another month. I can't believe that we had a contractor get hired by the city that we didn't even have come look at the bridge. Waldruff is referring to David Evans Consulting out of Portland, Oregon, who advised the city not to seal cracks on the bridge before that job was bid out. That advice was given to city engineers without ever even seeing the bridge in person. The end result, people and equipment working around the clock to get the bridge finished. I really hope that, uh, you know, we can either follow up with you know, appropriate legal action or just never use them again. Another street item caught our eye today on the council's agenda. $100,000 was being requested for completion of the Spokane Falls Extension Project that links Martin Luther King Boulevard to the WSU campus. That request pushed the project $215,000 over the original estimated cost. City spokesman Brian Coddington says comparing this request to the Green Street Bridge is like comparing apples to oranges. The one on Spokane Falls Boulevard is one that was really unfair seen circumstances once you open up a street sometimes you find some things that you don't expect to find and, and that was the case this time with some difficult digging and bigger rocks those kinds of things the um, green street bridge project is, is one that again we go out on the consultant uh, for some advice there once the contractor got to doing the work it was a different set of, of circumstances there in fairness to the city coddington says it's worked on 32 street projects this year totaling 47 million dollars and these were the only two with major overages he cites the crestline street project on the south hill as an example of finishing on time and under budget the 2.6 million dollar project came in a million dollars less than anticipated but regardless of who's keeping score councilwoman waldrop says it's important to use taxpayer dollars wisely we have an arterial street fund and we add money to that fund every year in our budget and it's kind of our little fund. We don't have a huge fund at the city for street projects so we really have to go to the state and federal government. Now Randy at this time there's no set date on when this project out here on the WSU campus will be complete. As far as the Green Street Bridge project goes they are shooting for January 1st. Reporting live I'm Mike Gonzalez, Krem 2 News.